guys, as you can see, I'm still at it. But I wanted to show you um, actually a couple of things um, for my returning subscribers. Thank you. And for new subscribers, thank you too. All you got to do is go over and hit the notification bell, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. That greatly helps me. And um, this is going to be a, a mixed shout out video. Um, so to Melissa and Melinda, I'm getting my feet wet with the folios. Okay, so look at me. <laughs> That's too funny. I have been at this like my desk is a mess. I've been crafting um, well early this morning and then um, I went and picked up an out-of-town guest and then came back and then our guest and my husband decided they would work on our vehicle so they went to get some stuff to do things like oil changes etc you know guy stuff so anyhow here we are starting off with this steampunk journal by I am not this is not a uh, guest design this is me purchasing this kit from it's Tracy Fox creative steampunk journal so it's creative looks to me like creative Fox ah, wonder if we're related anyhow so I'm doing this steampunk folio so I printed it all out I printed some the heavier stuff on these these guys and these oh before I forget thank you Michelle over at the Hobby Hobbit that says Rhonda here are some gears for your steampunk folio I can't wait to see what you do with it as always thank you for being my friend Michelle so thank you Michelle for being my friend as well so anyhow long story short she sent me the gears and I'm not going to put them in this folio because I'm making a, a big folio for the other for this a different steampunk so um, she sent me some cogs as well as Sandy over at Decorate Your Life she sent me some cogs so I'm almost there on the charms for my big steampunk folio okay so when I say big I mean like Melinda Davis big okay but I'm getting my feet wet ladies so I still have I got mm, this ephemera cut out um, I got tabs and these are going to be altered paper clips and then these will be just little five you know like little file folders filled with coffee dyed paper and then just assorted ephemera and then what I'm going to do is if I can ever pick this up I'm going to go back and I'm going to um, reprint the pages that have these letters or numbers on them and I'm going to print them on this cardstock at the end um, then on my favorite paper you guys know my favorite paper Melinda you know my favorite paper okay but what I wanted to point out is these are those um, um, what do you call them uh, dividers that you get or you see in medical files so this one says insurance so they're all different um, some say correspondence some say insurance some say whatever well a friend of mine who went out of business or retired or one of, or both had boxes of these and said hey would you like these and I said well heck yeah so I'm still using those after like about four years but they really come in handy and so I'm gonna um, I'm actually gonna list them in my coffee shop and um, I'm gonna go ten ten for a dollar on these or maybe maybe 20 for a dollar I don't know but if you're interested let me know and we'll make a deal probably 20 I'm gonna end it now 25 for a dollar 25 for a dollar if you're interested in these and they make great pockets great tabs great um, 
um, altered paper clips, that sort of stuff, because they're not too thick and they're not too thin. So anyhow, still got to cut those out, but I wanted to give you a walk through real quick. I'm also going to list this journal in my coffee shop. So you got your little flappy flappy here. And I think I'm going to stamp the inside. And then, of course, here's the front. And then here's the front with a pocket inside flap. And then I have not filled it up yet. We're just looking at what I have gotten done. And then here's this. And then more coffee dyed paper. More, this came in the kit, this sheet. Coffee dyed. Favorite paper, favorite paper. Coffee dyed. Coffee dyed. Favorite. And then this. And then this is. This has got a little mini book that's going to go inside of it. Right? And then here's pocket. And then more, just more of the insides. Basically the same throughout. And then here's the pocket. And then I think on this page I'm going to put the um, journaling card. Pretty sure. Um, not positive, but pretty sure. So then there's the back. There's the front. Two signatures. And yeah, this is my first basic folio journal and I just wanted to kind of get my feet wet and these will be available in my coffee shop again I'm going to take and they'll vary um, I won't do them exactly the same every time just because that could be like a real pain in the neck to keep repeating them but I'm going to do some nesting dies and some other things um, more, let me put it that way, in addition to what you see here. And then I will list it for sale in my pop shop. And when I do, which will be soon, I'll leave a link. Now, if you are interested in just these folio kits, no, no um, digitals with it. You would need to do your own digitals. Let me know also, and I can get these cut up for you. Um, I am actually going to, hopefully this week, do my kits, right? Minus these. It'll just have the flap and the cut pieces for you to get your own kit, get your own paper put together, and those will be at a really good price. All right, so there it is. Um, and I'll do a, an official flip through once this is done, but I just wanted to show you guys where I was at. And A, let you know, Melinda, Melissa, I'm still getting brave enough to do the big guy. It's a lot. And you'll see I put out the video um, explaining. And then, um, Michelle, I'm still building the big one, like the big one. And that's where your charms will go. And don't forget to check out our um, newbie, Timu Tuesday collab with Michelle Hobby Hobbit. And then the Timu Tuesday collab with Melissa Sue. And then I joined the open collab for Timu Tuesday along with um, just, just journaling with Puss and Patty. So we're all in it together. And um, I appreciate you guys. Stick around for the finale.